Welcome, welcome back on Angel Helper at C Square. In this example, we need to find the radius of circle A. This is circle A, we notice the center here at A, and the measure of angle DCF, which is in the other circle, circle C. If the area of the sector ABE and CDF are 48 pi, and the sectors are this region regions bounded by an arc of the circle and the two radii. So, in fact, this is 48 pi. And also this one is 48 pi. So let's go back to the first circle. And in this one, we need to find how much this radius is. And if you notice, the this sector is for a central angle that is 60 degree. And if you remember, a circle means 360 degree, right? The whole circle, right? So we need to multiply by 6, that 60 degree, to get 360. So that will help us to move faster and get the area of the circle, because that's the thing we want to get. The area of the circle A will be nothing else than 6, this 6, times the area of that sector, which is given to us 40. 8 pi and if we multiply this two we're going to get 288 pi and i'm going to keep the answer in pi okay so this is a, a very fast way to find the area of the circle if you know the area of the sector just because this angle is a very nice angle is 60 degrees one sixth of 360. and now if we have this area we can find the radius because the area of a circle is pi r square. So basically now we're going to replace this a, this area of 288 pi. And we're going to solve for uh, r square. You can simply simplify pi like this. And then we have r square equals to 88. So r will be square root of 288 you do not have to uh, put the plus and minus since we talk about radius which is a positive number and 188 is 144 times 2 and uh, we can simplify square root of 144 as 12 so the final answer here is 12 square root of 2 this is the radius of the circle for which a sector that is the central angle is 60 degree is 48 pi so now let's go to the second part circle c on this one again we know this area of the sector is 48 pi we know the radius can we find these angles so in this case we want to use proportion uh, first of all we need for that reason to find the area of circle a Uh, circle C in fact and this one is pi r square and the radius is that 20 so we have pi times 20 square and that will be 400 pi this is the area of the circle C and now we're going to use proportion like I said and we have 360 degrees goes to 400 pi right that is the area of the circle i'm wondering and i'm going to call this one x how many degree that angle is x if that area of that sector is 48 pi and a fast way to deal with the pi here you can simply cancel this pi out like this and then i have a simpler form 360 over 400 equals x over 48 and again you can cancel out the zeros here and then we have 36 over 40 equals x 48 so these steps will help us to get uh, a easier equation if we cross multiply of course you can keep simplifying if you want and we have 40x equals 36 times 48 
for finding x we divide by 40 and we have just to do this uh, multiplication and uh, division or you can simplify if you want um, either way you should get uh, 43.2 degree this x is 43.2 which means the measure of angle dcf it's 43.2 degree and that's it if you enjoyed this video, don't forget to click the like button and come back and see square for more help thank you